Well, we have actually amazing opportunities here on Long Island. Yeah, granted, we got great saltwater fishing. I and mean, we got really, we got three major trout streams here on Long Island. And we even have native brook trout here on Long Island. But you know what else we got? And I just can't wait because I love fishing for them. We got over a hundred lakes, some kettle ponds and some uh, mill ponds. And you know what? They're loaded, loaded with panfish. And I'll tell you, one of the favorite times I have is either with a float tube or a canoe or just even wading some of these little ponds and they're everywhere they're in every little every park there's a pond you know all over Long Island some of them have great access some of them you can wade some you can't some of them you can put a boat in it's really is amazing and we have and they're packed packed with these little hard fighting bluegills and they're so much fun my wife loves fishing for them and the flies the flies are so easy to tie they're really and they're so aggressive and today we're going to tie this it's called the slow sinking spider it kind of looks like a spider and let me tell you I've, I can't tell you how many bluegills I've caught on these this fly. And it's so easy to tie. So let's get to the vise and tie us up one. Well, this is a really simple fly. There's not much to it. Uh, I'm using a size. This is, uh, you don't want them too big or too small for bluegills. It's surprising what they can get in the mouth. I'm using a size 8 sprout hook. I'm using orange and black yarn and some rubber legs and i'm using black uh 70 denier or six up uh thread so like i said this is really really simple fly i do debarb these hooks because several reasons i always debarb my hooks because i'm not keeping anything but also because nor uh, you know it's surprising what those little bluegills could get into their mouth you know, it really is surprising. So, I'm going to put down a nice little thread base. Come back up here. All right. Leaving room. I'm going to take my two yarns. I'm going to, I'm using orange and black. Right? You could use any color combination. I'm going to get a nice clean cut. And I'm going to tie them so that the orange, the black's on the bottom and the orange is on top. And you'll see why. And I'm going to hold it so that everything stays right on top. And then I'm going to bring my thread forward to about a third, uh, one third from the hook eye. Okay, I'm going to wrap, start wrapping my orange. Right up to the thread. And I'm going to just tie it off. It doesn't take much material here. Then I'm going to take my black and come right across the top, keeping it right, right there, and I'm going to tie it off. And I'm going to bring my thread forward. And I'm going to make a couple wraps with the black. Keep it tight and tie it off. Reach in there. And make a nice head. Take my whip finishing tool and finish it off. 
cut my thread. Now I'm going to come back here. I'm going to make a reattach my thread right behind that black head. I'm going to take two pieces of uh, my rubber legs and I'm going to fold them in half, roughly equal. And I'm going to tie them in the middle. A couple of loose wraps. All right, so I can move them around. There you go. Now I'm going to cut and cut. I could take two and move them on this side. Like that, and two move them onto that side, like that, and pull tight, and it flares them out. I will take a little bit of super glue. You could use head cement if you want. Put a little bit on your thread. And Wrap right over top. Really bury that super glue right into it. Take my whip finisher. And we're done. Now you can trim these up if you like, make them a little bit even. There you go. And that's the slow sinking spider. Bluegills love these things. Give it a shot. I would put floating on it and let it just slowly absorb water and slowly sink. You'll be surprised. They will suck this sucker right down. And that's why I debarb all mine. But I, you know what's amazing? We have such a great opportunities. Tie up a bunch of these, tie them in different colors. And you know what? You're gonna have a great time. So until the next fly, tie lines, everybody.